Our work with coastal fish populations involves looking at, at how these populations are affected by river flows. We do this by looking at the commercial catch and effort data for, for each of the fish species that we look at. We also look at, at recruitment indices or how many fish are surviving their first year of life. Our work for catchment managers means that they can assess the likely impact that new resource development, which is creating new industries is, is having or potentially may have on existing industries that are already using that water. Our work started in response to a federal government decision, a COAG decision, that included estuaries as a legitimate water user as part of river systems. We were also getting questions from water managers within Queensland about the likely impacts of water infrastructure development on the coastal fisheries and the associated industries that, that exist downstream. Our work specifically looks at the volume and timing of flows and how that affects fisheries populations. With Given the right seasonal flows, we get good size recruitments, which means that we have very good survival through to the next year, increasing the population. We are able to predict the changes in a population due to, to flow. Um, this is generally brought about by, from two reasons. One is, is the year or the, the strength of the recruitment in that year. It also involves the growth of the animal over that year. This is done using fish heads or the ages of the fish really, where we estimate the ages of fish and how good their recruitment year is in the year of flow. So in the, in the Fitzroy River, water resource planning is up to the stage where it's assessing the impacts of their their water resource plan in a review. Our work's allowing them to, in a risk assessment based approach, to assess what the likely impacts are are going to be of different development scenarios. Our most important finding is that water running into the estuary is not being wasted. The water that reaches the estuary has very important functions in maintaining fisheries populations and these can be, can be seen being reflected in the recruitment and growth of that species that we look at. The surprising thing is the consistency of the results that we get, whether they be from tropical North Queensland to the temperate estuaries of New South Wales. The effect of flow on fisheries populations or on populations in general are relatively the same no matter where you look for them. The combination of, of our research and other researchers work into the ecological response modelling is a very important part in, in reaching a holistic approach to, to river management, understanding that the river doesn't stop at a point before the sea and that estuaries are important places that allow that transition from freshwater to saltwater to take place. <laughs>